Okay, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to attach a PDF to your Google site. Okay, to start with, first and foremost, you have to make sure that the PDF you want to attach is going to be viewable by the public uh, if your site is public. If not, even if your site is public and you haven't made the rights of your PDF public, nobody will be able to see it. So first thing you got to do is go into your Google Drive and find the PDF that you want to uh, post on your website. Okay, so I got this one here, the one I want to use. And what you want to do is you want to click on either one of these two options, the get the shareable link or the share button. Okay, once you get shareable link, right now it is a private document, which means nobody can see it except for me. So I am going to go to the sharing settings by clicking sharing settings there. So it says I can share this with others. I don't want to share it with individual people. I want anyone that goes to my website to be able to see it. So I'm going to click that advance. Right here it says who has access, me, and then and that's it, it's private. I'm going to click change here. Here are all the ways that I can share this document. Okay, right now it's set to only specific people, so myself and anyone individually that I add. I want this to be viewable by the general public, anyone that might come to my website. So I'm going to turn it to on and make sure that it says anyone, no sign in required, has access to view it. Okay, I want them to be able to view it. Once that's like that, I click save. Okay, now it is public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and view it. That's what I want. Okay, I can click that done. You'll notice that the little sharing symbol shows up beside showing that this is a shared document. It's now shared with anyone that happens to click on that link. Now I can go back to my site and I can attach this to my Google site. One way that I can do that is by clicking from drive, the drive button here. So I can insert, I can find that PDF. There it is right there. Click on it once, it says one selected insert that will put a thumbnail uh, version of the PDF in so it's got a little preview for people to look at and then there'll be this pop-out button here that people can click on to see it uh, full screen okay the other option is I can link that PDF to some text okay so again in my Google Drive now that this is publicly shared if I click that link get shareable link button it says link sharing is on this is the link to that document and you can see down here it says link has been copied to the clipboard but if I'm not sure that that's happened I can always click here it highlights that I can right click and copy or click control C whatever I want that copied then I go back to my site here I can add a text box and I can say check out this document Okay, I can select that text, highlight and select that text. And then this button here is to insert a link. This is a link I can make that text clickable and go to any web address, which my document now has. So if I paste that link to my PDF, hit apply, then that link now becomes a clickable link that will take people to my PDF. Okay. The other way is same as this, but instead of text, if I wanted to add like a, an image or a button, then I could insert an image, either upload one from my computer or select one from uh, Google Images, search, or one that I have on my drive. Okay, so if I go to my drive, I've got a recent button that I made here. Check this out. Okay, I can just pop that in, adds the button. Okay, I can move this button around, resize it, crop it, whatever I need to do, but I can also insert a link. So once again, I paste that same link that I got from this link sharing button when I was highlighting the PDF. And I paste that link in, hit apply. Now that button is clickable. So when people go to my website now, they will be able to access that PDF. Okay, in one of those three ways. So you'll see there's the thumbnail version by just choosing to attach it straight from my drive. So they can see a small version of the PDF and click this button to pop it out into its own uh, tab in the Chrome browser where you would see 
a full screen version of the PDF. Okay. The other two things they would see are the link to the text, which would automatically pop it out into a new tab. And the same thing goes if I click my picture or my image, it takes them, opens up a new tab and uh, opens the PDF that they can now view. Okay. But the key to remember there is you have to make sure that you have set the sharing settings on your document that you want to share, set them to public. If you're posting them to a public website, the PDF needs to be public or it will not be viewable by the people that are on your website. Okay. And that's it. Enjoy.